Managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get into my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stop. She says, pace yourself. No, I know, I know. I just lost track of time, plus the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Property, just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. <laughs> Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. <laughs> Honey, the kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. I want to give them just a bit of normalcy, okay? Christ! Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this, I'm afraid. Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Vincent has denounced the violence, stating that... Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Spectacular dive, honey. Thanks. Such an athlete. <laughs> I think I'm taking so Moonbear snorkeling. <laughs> yes. I know, Dad. Don't worry. Come on. Okay. Bye, Dad. Love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad catches you. Come on.
Kathy, what did I say? But Moonbell wants to go snorkeling too. Bring me the bear, you little troublemaker. <laughs> no. I swear, you get this cheekiness from your mother, not from me. Come on, Kathy, jump in. Transfer authorization 170544, Isaac Johansson. Kathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ada close to you at all times. Never let her out of your sight, alright? I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Listen, remember, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Nice. Just listen to me. For that now, darling. I want Moon Bear. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. Found it. Great. Now, now come to me. I need your help, Moon Bear. There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Okay. Now, Moomba. That's it. Okay, it's time to go. up there is Ace. Rose's Ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay? Okay. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace! Ace! It's me! Hi! Follow me. Number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad! Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. We've got to hurry. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Hey! Hey! Why are you running away? 
going to outward move there. Together. Vita's door opening. Come on. Come on!
What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Hmm? No, I'm good. Besides, that wouldn't be much help anyway. You're right. You wouldn't. Listen, MPT systems are for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPT dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway. I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? Already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there.
People cope before stream tech. Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. Good times. Okay, just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller Cascade antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. Hop on! Still doing drinks after this. Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving me beer. Bless. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's a yes on the drinks. Hello? Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? That must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. Fine. <laughs> I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then I'll just, you know... I really have to go. Perhaps you can find Maria. I'll just hear about it later. It's fine. your stop. Is it? It is. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay, that was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still gonna try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. All right, let's go find another way into Maria's office. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go.
The museum. Yeah, we can cut through here to Maria's. Might be fun to have a look around too. Not been here in ages. Looks like no one has. In 2041, the Lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT, giving his life in the process. WSA really is trying their best to help our world with our energy needs. I'm sure we'll get to help the entire population someday. Microwave power technology is a revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The Lunar MPT, along with the 42 Earth-based MPT receivers, helped stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs. My jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. After the Great Blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the Blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Vestia to provide manpower to the Lunar MPT and bring Rolf's body back home. Claire and her team discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. Isaac Johansson, one of the three Lunar Council members and core Atwood instigators, took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. I'm fine. Just remembering it always feels... I'm fine. Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all Moonbase residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARCs. The location of the traitorous Council members, as well as the rest of the Moonbase crew, remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the ARCs that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. It was supposed to be an escape plan for the colony if something ever went wrong. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Looking good, sis. <laughs> they really need to change these. Hello. 
look nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you never have to Come on, Alex. Try. Are you headed to Maria's office? Oh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way, so. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rosa's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean... <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it ACE, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> right. Yours is named Alex, right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh. Question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? You want the years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but... What your dad and the Lunar Council did, they... they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No? No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. If I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me... No. Maria's gonna be on video, you no. know? No! Okay, I bet you guys rehearse that. We totally did. Why not work? I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Cool. Thanks.
Nice start in the conversation later. Absolutely certain. So it must be them. Should we discover our location? During Mission Vestia, we found indications of the three art vessels Albert used to leave the moon for just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three arcs actually form a tribe, a completely self reliant settlement. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Yes, Ada. Ava, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot be this room. Understood? Flora and fauna every week. The truth 
crux of the matter is that our home is becoming just as uninhabitable as any other planet. We need those arcs. Now. Claire, I need you to lead this mission. Assemble a team and bring those arcs back. You have a few months to prep. We cannot afford further delay. I understand. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean, the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she has nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. But Kathy's the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. We're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors Why involved. Hey, hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what? Three other trained astronauts to choose from, so... I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though L Ryan's last argument was severely lacking. Yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now- Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. You all snug in there, Ayla? You need anything? Cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. You look nervous. 
And that amuses you? No, no. Just seeing you, you're... Proud. <clears throat> hey. That scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah? GC, we're heading to the rocket now. Copy that. Transport is ready for you. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah, sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. We go. No turning back. Nope. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Oh, they really don't seem to want us to go. No. But considering the amount of time... Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Or they won't. I mean, they might. And I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen. Even if we do bring back the Arcs. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. Take a look at this view. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? Shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that were flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine.
don't notice how high it really is until... Yeah. Launch sequence initiated. Opera team, this is ground control. Proceed with final checks. Copy, GC. Opera team, comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Oxygen is go. Flight. Flight is go. Navigation. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel. Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is go. Power. Power is go. Launch sequence functions. Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Good to go. Brian, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power units. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gaseous oxygen vent arm. Cap retracted. Opera team, visors down. Go. 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 Cap, orbit to transfer from ground to internal power.
Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pad down suppression system. Suppression system online. Activating solid fuel thrusters, hydrogen burn off system. Burn off system, or it goes. Cat, initiate solid fuel thrusters start. Solid fuel thrusters are a go. Copy. Thrusters up. We are going for launch. Here we go. It's away.
Here we go, opera team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Maybe I have escape modes. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kat? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. You heard that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. I need eyes on to determine the damage. 
I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the first to get here? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think- It was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. Find yourself drifting, use your thrusters to correct, and quickly double check the latch of your left nozzle controller. And when I've double checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. <sighs> All right. Take rest out of the airlock. <laughs> So what's all this from, anyway? Satellites, mission-related debris, even pieces from Sarah's old station. Pearson Space Station? From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission? Uh-huh. Huh. I'm... Um, I'm kind of honoured. What a weird thing to feel honoured about. <laughs> right, first things first, what can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? <sighs> it's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty bad event. Okay. They'll need to be cut away if we want the thrusters to be even semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch, just press it and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it... Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Hey, <sighs> remember that sunken space station in the bay behind our house? Yes. Why? 
I was just thinking about it earlier. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well, never mind. So, anybody <sighs> fancy back home? Wait, what? <laughs> or maybe even on the ship. What? Ryan? Or, or Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. Least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings for someone despite the circumstances. I don't know, with everything that's going on with the world, we never really talk about this kind of stuff. Do you ever think about something like that? Do you? Good point. I'll be shutting up now. I love you. Does that count? No. <laughs> Back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cat. Head back inside. Uh, carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs> 